Good morning, my lovely friends. Welcome back to The Daily Vitamin, where you get your daily dose of spiritual sweetness. Now, my friends, I just want to share with you, if you haven't heard already, I have been very busy behind the scenes. Granted, we start our days off right with these daily doses, and it has been fueling my fire as I walk through the day because I've been busy behind the scenes building a beautiful online community that I want to invite you to. It's called Sci Gym. And currently I am preparing for the launch. I'm hoping later this month, aiming for it. Uh, if, if the gods agree, <laughs> if the stars align. Uh, but I really want to invite you to check out Sci Gym. This is going to be a beautiful, sacred, safe space for you to test out your intuitive chops. If you are interested in developing your own psychic gifts or even acquiring intuitive skill set, then I would really encourage you to check us out. And I'm not going to draw this out, I'm not going to draw this on, but I'm going to leave the links below. So make sure that you scroll through the description and give it a whirl. Give it a, give it a little peekaboo if you wouldn't mind. So today's message, let's jump right in, is gorgeous. <laughs> Today, we have Echabus the seer. He is the visionary. I chart the stars, signs, and symbols to craft magic. Now, I'm really being pulled into what's going on within his core. Now, he's got the raven sitting on his shoulder, right? And oftentimes, there's <laughs> there's a lot of debate around, you know, ravens or crows, um, two different birds. Um, are they good? Are they evil? You know, they, they kind of dance between sides, right? They have a foot in each world and they are the messengers. They are the seers themselves. And, you know, they can report back. There really is, it's, it's like energy, just like anything else, right? You assign a value to it. You assign is, are you, the work that you're doing, is it for good? Is it for evil? And I feel that there's a, culmination of energy within you right now that you have some power that has been lit it's been activated it's been ignited there's some power that you have right now and i feel that you're sitting in a position where you get to make the decision of how exactly to use that power now you may use your familiar right you may use your crow or your raven to do a little bit of research, to, to gather a little bit more information, to understand something more deeply before you make a full plan, right? Before you make any moves. I'm also hearing money moves, right? So before you, you move any money, before you invest any energy or resources. Um, this could also be, you know, through conversation as well. Like maybe you need to have a couple conversations in order to just be um, further illuminated as to where certain things or people or situations stand. However, I do feel that there is this, I, I'm hearing the word brew. It's like you've got this brew. Like I have something here and I'm ready to share it. I'm ready to disperse it i'm ready to invest it i'm ready to start plugging it in and feeding it into different areas and avenues in order to alchemize my vision in order to alchemize what i've been seeing for myself right because i feel that the vision is something that you already carry right with this the ep epicus the seer himself i feel like already has the vision but I feel like now with this, this activation, right? With this like culmination, this brew, <laughs> this special brew, it's like, I want to see all the different ways and how I can apply this, how I can engage this, how I can grow this, how I can nurture this. It is going to be a lot more that you are going to be sorting out, that you're going to be observing, that you're going to be witnessing. And also, you know, whether you're working with your familiar or whether you're working with the angels, you're working with spirit guides, you're just working with your higher self, or you're just talking to God, right? Not to minimize that one, but you know, whoever you're working with, whoever you're talking to request, please show me what I need to see. You know, if there's someone in your life that has been untrustworthy in the past and you want to know if you can trust them now, granted, historically, in my experience, you know, once a cheater, always a cheater, right? Not too many people change in that arena. It's really hard for someone to move from, you know, being dishonest, deceitful to being fully transparent. But hey, it does happen. But however, if you have someone in your life that um, you're wondering about, that you're curious about, ask to be shown what you need to see in order to make your decision. 
right? Or, or whether it's a person, a situation, a, a company, a, a investment vehicle, whatever it might be that you're considering within your, your day, within your life. So ask to be shown what you need to see because you've got something good that you're ready to share, but you just need a little bit more information and you're about to see it. So I'm going to leave it there, my friends. I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you tomorrow.